Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from TheGameMan.com. You can also visit me on my personal site at RodneyReynolds.com. This next Q&A video is about straight versus angled SATA or serial ATA connectors and the problems with the straight ones on some motherboards. If you have straight connectors and they're somewhere around your video cards, well, you probably have this problem with the straight SATA connectors in that when you go to connect a SATA cable to it, a regular one that is, they hit the video card or whatever card you have in there that's long and well you can't use the SATA connectors on the motherboard which is a shame to be honest. Now a lot of the higher end motherboards will have the angled uh, SATA connectors usually on the perimeter of the board or usually a combination of some maybe so a few straight ones and uh, you know angled ones. A lot of them are angled now and again they are usually on the perimeter of the board somewhere that makes a lot of sense. And sometimes actually they can be an issue too depending upon the size of the case that you're installing it in. So you can have problems with both of them but a lot of people have more problems with the straight ones that are you know near the video card um, you know the slots. So what what's the solution to this? Well the first of all you know when you get a motherboard um, make sure you get the ones that are on the perimeter that are angled and like I say most higher end boards will have it. Uh, also you can get a SATA cable that is right angled or 90 degree angle some people call them left right angle whatever but they're angled so they go up and they do a you know it's a 90 degree angle the, the cable connect to the SATA connector on the board, they go up and they, you know, take a, a right turn. Now, sometimes they won't even work. If that doesn't work, well, you can't really use your onboard SATA controller, so you can get, well, a separate one and, you know, slap it into a slot if you have a slot free. So um, that's a solution to that. Uh, you know, if you're looking for a board, get one that has angled SATA connectors. If you don't, try to find some SATA cables, right, right angle cables that will work. Other, otherwise, you're going to have to get a SATA controller. Well, I hope this answers your question and keep them coming. By the way, if you have any kind of suggestions, comments, or whatever to this, I will provide the link below and you can do so. Thanks.